know if you have become a child of God, you are on God's side. God is for you. God was also on Israel's side because he chose them as his people. We are Gentiles because we're not from Israel, but through Jesus Christ, we also became God's chosen people. God always takes care of his people, even when they were slaves in Egypt. Do you remember how God had shown he is the one true God by sending the 10 plagues? After the Passover, when the firstborn of every family in Egypt died, Pharaoh finally let the Israelites go. The people of Israel have been in Egypt for 430 years. Finally, they were set free. Over 2 million Israelites packed all their belongings and left, for, left Egypt. God led them out from Egypt and showed them where to go with a huge pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. By following the cloud and the fire, God was leading them to their new home. They camped near the Red Sea, but their troubles weren't over yet. God told Moses he would harden Pharaoh's heart again, and Pharaoh would change his mind about letting the people go, of Israel go. But just like the, with the plague, um, God said, the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. So Pharaoh and his army went out with 600 chariots to bring the Israelites back. They caught up with the Israelites and they were trapped. They were afraid and blamed Moses saying, what have you done? You've brought us to die in the wilderness. It would have been better to stay in Egypt. They were looking at the Egyptian army instead of remembering God had just rescued them from slavery. Moses said to the people, do not be afraid, stand firm, and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. God was on their side. God told Moses, tell the people to go forward. I will get glory over Pharaoh and his army. God instructed Moses to raise his staff and stretch out his hand over the Red Sea. Suddenly, a strong wind started blowing. All night long, the wind blew and something amazing happened. The waters of the sea divided so there were two walls of water with a dry path in between. God was making a way for his people to escape. In the meantime, God moved the pillar of cloud between the Israelites and the Egyptian army. God was protecting them. The people of Israel began to walk on dry ground between the two walls of water. This was an amazing miracle. Now the pillar of cloud had moved and the Egyptian army saw the Israelites were getting away. So they drove their chariots into the path through the sea. Again, God was with the Israelites and caused the Egyptians to panic and the chariot wheels to get stuck in the mud as they tried to cross. The Egyptians said to one another, let's run away. The Lord is fighting for them and against us. After all the Israelites had crossed, God told Moses to stretch his hand out over the sea again. When Moses did, the walls of water collapsed, covering the entire Egyptian army. Pharaoh's army was destroyed and the Israelites were safe. The Israelites saw God's power to save them. They celebrated by praising God. You can read the song they sang in the Bible in Exodus chapter 15 verses 1 through 18. The Israelites had been very afraid when they saw the Egyptians coming after them. They forgot the wonderful things God had just done for them in rescuing them from slavery. They let the things they could see with their eyes cause them to forget who God is. How about you? When scary or troubling things happen in your life, do you remember who God is? Remember God is with you and for you every day. He is right there with you even through the scary and hard times. Remember, you are on God's side, so you don't have to be afraid.